Hey guys, how's it going? I hope everyone is doing well today. I am going to be doing an unhaul with this video because I am continuing to buy books and the size of my apartment remains the same. This is not quite as big of an unhaul as the last video I did. I want to say I've got maybe, let's see, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 some books, something like that. Um, in my last video, I went through my library and got rid of a ton of duplicate copies I had. At the end of that video, I said, I think I said something like, well, that, that, that should be it. I shouldn't have any more duplicates at least. And that was a lie because I found quite a lot more. <laughs> so we'll go ahead and go through those first, first book. We've got some Stephen King. This is Hearts in Atlantis. Already have it. Don't know why. Uh, the Dark Tower 5. Already have it. And then The Stand. Uh, that's it for Stephen King. I also have First They Killed My Father. I have not read this book yet. I do still want to read it. I already have a hardcover. I'm going to keep that one, get rid of this one. Next, Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. I am not crazy about these tiny, tiny little books as far as reading them. My eyes are not what they used to be. I'm getting so old, I know. I already have this in hardcover. Getting rid of it. I did not even realize I had this one still. This was like up way at the top, shoved in the corner of one of my other bookshelves. So that's good. Next night, this actually I read two months ago. Really liked it, but I did get the book that has the whole trilogy in one, so I can get rid of this one. We have Lady Midnight by Cassandra Clare. I did read this one. I did enjoy it. I have this in hardcover again. I really like the spine, but I'm not, I am not going to go through and buy all the soft cover just so I can see the full spine. It would be crazy. I'm tempted, but no. Let's see next one. I have also read and really enjoyed The History of Love. Did not realize I had another copy. And I did. Strange the Dreamer. I have the hardcover. I actually like this one a bit more, like just the look of the cover. But I don't know. I'm trying to think which one would be easier to read. Yeah, I'm going to keep the hardcover. That's okay. It's okay. These three I could have sworn I got rid of in my last video. I don't know if that's me being delusional or if they somehow creep back in, but that is the Hunger Game trilogy. I really thought I got rid of these already. Don't know what happened. Getting rid of them now. And then this is a recent Purple Hibiscus. I really like that purple. But I'm getting rid of this one because I already have another copy. Death of a Salesman. Already got it. The Odyssey. I just bought a copy that I like a lot more than this one, like the formatting and stuff. And it's the Iliad and the Odyssey in one. So saving some room. That's what I tell myself. Next. Let's pretend this never happened. This also is a recent read. Did not realize I had it before I bought it again. I will say, before you guys think that she's like buying books willy nilly, I do get like 90% of my books at thrift stores. So this is like a dollar a book, which does add up, but at least I'm not buying them new. Although if I did, that's okay. Supporting the publishing industry. It it works in the end. Of Mice and Men. Oh, that glare. Uh, this one is just kind of like a oddly sized one. Uh, I did find one I like that's, that's quite a bit bigger. This seems so short, so I don't know if this is like an edited version. 
I'm not sure. The other one I have makes it look like it's way longer. Catcher in the Rye. I've got it already. Amulet. I knew I had one of these. I thought I had volume two, so I bought volume one. Turns out I had volume one, but it's got really cool artwork. I really like that artwork. Yep, someone else can get that. I've got two of the Game of Thrones. We've got a Sword of Thorns and a Clash of Kings. A Sword of, a Storm of Swords. What did I say? I said something weird, a Clash of Kings. <laughs> I've got the hard covers. Even though with these I was tempted because they're that really nice like floppy floppy books. No. Just say no. And then this is the last one I think of multiples and that is The Way of Kings by Brando Sando. I bought the UK versions of the Mistborn right there. Mistborn series, uh, just because I liked the cover a lot more than the U.S. versions. I have this volume one and two together, the full book in hardcover. I don't need an additional copy. Okay, the other ones, let's get to them. These are books either that I have read that I wasn't crazy about. Um, I don't have any interest in reading anymore. Stuff like that. First, oh gosh, these are heavy. We've got some Dune books. Man, that light. I tried reading Dune a long time ago and it did not work out. <laughs> I like fantasy books typically way more than I like sci-fi books. And this is a very sci-fi sci-fi. So that doesn't quite work out for me. This can go to someone who appreciates that series more. This is kind of a strange one. Weird and unusual trivia. Again, I found it for like a buck at a thrift store. I thought, why not? I've read through some of it. It's not really weird or unusual, the ones that I found. So making room. David Copperfield. It's just, I don't know why I don't like this copy, but I just don't like this copy. So it's going. Same with this one, Little Women. I like Little Women. I just don't like this copy. I, I don't know it, what it is specifically about it. The Scourge. This sounds like the premise sounds really interesting. It is a middle grade, not saying I wouldn't enjoy it, but I so rarely read any middle grade books that this should go to someone who is going to be the targeted audience who's going to really like it. Next, we have Patty Whacked. This is about an Irish American gangster, I think. <sighs> I'm I'm not interested. The way that it's written as well. Well, yeah, I'm not interested. Oh, let's see which one is this. The people of forever are not afraid. Just not interested anymore. The dollhouse. I read, you know, what it's supposed to be about. I started reading. I, I read a few pages and I'm just like, I don't, I don't care. That sounds terrible. It could be a really good book for someone else, but it's just not for me. And then next we have No Man's Land. This is a very heavy book. And this is by Simon Tolkien. I love Tolkien, so anything I see with his name on it, I gravitate towards. This, I think, was written by his grandson. Yeah, and it's about his time in the war. Uh, his grandfather, so Tolkien's time in the war. Uh, I like learning new things about Tolkien. Like, I've watched documentaries on him and stuff, but yeah. I'm not going to read it. 
really random. Nat Geo, the Greeks. I really like Greek mythology. That has very limited to do with this. <laughs> like how the Greeks live, the culture is very interesting, but I'd rather watch a documentary, I think, about it than read this sort of book. Yeah. I'm just, and, and someone also like underlined like every other sentence in it. Look at that. What, what is so interesting? <laughs> they need to underline like every other sentence. Oh, well, it was their book at the time, so. Oh my goodness. Poe, The Complete Tales and Poems. This is a big book. It takes up a lot of room on the shelf. I am not crazy about books that have like the author's complete works in it even though it makes sense like hey that's nice you've got everything in one place I'm just not really a fan of that I'd rather just focus on the works of them that I I appreciate and I enjoy I don't want to read a thousand pages of everything he has same for this one so this is uh Alfred Hitchcock the Best of Mystery, 63 short stories chosen by the Master of Suspense. No, that's okay. We have Half Bad. I have put this one back and then picked it out again and then put it back because the premise sounds really interesting, but I think it's more geared towards like young YA. And there's nothing wrong with that, but I think some of the the cliches that I might find in it or some of the subject matter it tends to linger on, I might just be over at this point. Again, if I was the age that this is geared towards, I probably really like it, but as an adult, YA is kind of like increasingly, I don't want to say I'm increasingly picky with it, but you do start to feel too old for some of it. So I think this is one that I would. Same with this one. Uh, My Diary from the Edge of the World. Really interesting sounding premise. Sasquatch helped with the American Civil War. Dragons Glide Over Route 1. Like, that sounds cool. But again, I think it's aimed at like ages 8 to 12. Yeah, that's not me anymore. Next, we have The Man Who Sold the World. As interesting a figure as I think David Bowie is, this is written more like a history book. And it, it deals, it seems at least to deal very strictly in fact, which is definitely what you want in a biography, but I'm more interested in kind of his experiences and what he was feeling and thinking at the time rather than like on this date, he did this. So maybe a, a really big Bowie fan will find this and that'll be great. We've got this. <laughs> Edition of the Secret Garden. Uh, this cover is just, sorry guys, that ring light. <laughs> Let me see if I can frame it around her face. That is like a, that's a choice in cover. Yep. <laughs> Next. Uh, easy learning French. When I was trying to learn French. So much for that. And then we have the Mysterious Benedict Society. I did read, I think the first two of these when I was quite a bit younger. I know the series has continued. I think that's great. I'm not going to be continue, continuing reading it. So it'll go to someone again who can appreciate what it is. 
I don't know how I got these two. The Seven Wonders of Sassafras Springs, which I like the cover, um, is very young. And then we've got some Mother Goose. This thing is really heavy. I'm actually going to give both of these copies to a friend of mine. Her daughter is going to be learning how to read soon. And like, let me see if I can find a good one. Nice, a dog playing like it's like this. So I think it's it's a good, easy way for her to practice. Hopefully she'll enjoy it. And that's it. I think that's it. Yeah, we made it. There were a few more I ended up putting back because I changed my mind. But this is a good amount. So yeah, pretty happy. I am going to be uploading a video soon of my books I read in February list. Keep an eye out for that if you're interested. If not, that's cool too. But I hope you guys enjoyed this and I hope everyone has a great rest of your day. Bye guys.